Waitley School Committee, um, September 24th. Welcome ever back, everybody. Thank you for your flexibility earlier in the month for rescheduling. Um, so I will hand it over to you. You hand it over to me for reorganization. Reorganize. All right. I make a nomination to have Katie Edwards as our chair again. <laughs> It's not reorganizing. <laughs> right, any other okay. nominations? <laughs> All in favor. Close. Vote to close, close nominations. Vote, vote to close uh, nominations. <laughs> All those in favor? So, seeing majority. <laughs> All those in favor? Okay. Katie Edwards, Green Chair. All right. Okay, so so majority vote. Still. Congratulations. Majority Katie. vote. I hand it back that to you. That was quick. Okay. You're gonna we need to figure out the vice chair. You got to have that whole. You got the whole list. You're going to have to go through. I make a nomination that uh, Maureen Nichols will be the vice chair. So you got to do all those positions again. I know. It's already in print here. Yep. Well, this Second. is last year's. It's not already in print. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just last year, so you can decide. Um, you can decide. Are how you, you want okay to with me? Okay. I'll second. All in favor? We have to close okay. it first. No, no, no. Okay. Um, they have Maureen then as secretary, but that's not. That's not really a role, is it? That would be Mary. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but you. It's you always need, been a position. It's a, you know it's been a position. It comes in if, um, for example, if you were, we've had to use it several times at Frontier, where if you were, um, basically if the minutes had to be done for something, you need someone officially to sign off on the minutes for a loan or something like that sort of thing, and that comes mm -hmm. to the secretary or the clerk. And so it is actually an official position, so okay. it's not a position that's the chair, it's kind of a division of power. I thought so. last year I was vice chair and secretary because you were on the union yep. thing. Yeah, it's wrong on the yep. front. Oh, it's yep. right on this page. Yeah. I'll make a nomination oh, for so me to be secretary the then. The front is wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll make sure she's I'll second that. If you're okay with that. All in favor. All right. All right. Uh, make the most uh, so now we're going to talk about frontier rep assuming Bob since we're all keeping our roles Bob I sure. nominate Bob Halla to the frontier rep all in second all in favor okay I think the rest of you just appoint or do we go at this point you appoint and see if they make sure they want to do it but I guess you're all the union 38 representatives <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's really no questions negotiations Sick bank committee, I don't know what that is. I don't remember what that is. Sick bank committee is if a staff member wants to go um, use the sick bank, the committee's made up of two, two school committee members and two union members to decide whether or not they sh should get access to the sick bank and how many days they would get. Oh, so okay. I've been fortunate. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we've ever had to do anything. Yeah. That's okay. good. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good okay. thing you don't have to access sick bank. Right. Okay. And I'll stay on the negotiation team. Yes. Do you, you want to make any changes? Are you good? No, I'm fine. Okay. I never did anything for policy review. And Super. Let's, let's do that. It's a good position. Yeah, no, the policy review <coughs> committee, you know, I know Lynn did a bunch of the policy reviews, went through the whole book. That was kind of the thing that she did. Um, First year, before yeah, you were. So. Bob was on the committee. So year. right now, the policies are coming through is only as they come, as they change. But if we ever yeah. wanted to go back, something well, became tense around order. something, you know, we create a subcommittee. But um, for these new ones that are in here, was there a meeting? Because I no, no, okay, no. So um, those are so I'll pr propose policies I get from MASC. I mean, I can pull the policy committee together to do it, but do they have? Don't they have a? Like, something they issue right so I get so I get policies updated from MASC or stuff problems that we run into where I say you know we should really update our policy on that or maybe we didn't actually have a problem but we just said well <laughs> you know our one language you know we got through an issue but our language can be clear and then sometimes I bring that policy through so um, yeah so yeah okay okay so I think we're reorganized, sort of, not really. But so you didn't really change anything. Back to <laughs> last year's. That's okay. Worked well. That's fine. I just want to make sure I, want to make sure I got that correct. As as everybody's All right. Good. Everybody's happy moving forward. Um, <clears throat> so we have the minutes from the last two meetings to approve. Do we, we approve them separately? Or does it matter? 
can, you can do them together, do them together. Um, especially if the, if the uh, I make a motion to approve the minutes of June 4th, 2019 and the special meeting minutes of June 28th, 2019. I'll second it. Okay. So, oh, I didn't welcome Shelley no, to our Waitley, <laughs> her first no, Waitley right. School Committee meeting. Let's mm -hmm. see how we're not quite as organized probably as some of the other ones. But and it looks a little thin right now. I know. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna By the end of the year, it might you. be a little thicker. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hand it over to you. Um, there are nine warrants here for you to sign. The total presented is $63,114.51. Uh, and in regards to fiscal year 19, we have uh, completed the closeout process with the town, working on balancing some of the grants, but otherwise closed out there. Uh, we carried encumbrances over uh, to FY20, totaling $44,894.04. Um, that just means that we have bills from 19 left that still need to be paid in 20. They come from 19 funds. They don't impact 20 funds, but mm -hmm. um, those are carried over as a liability for us. Um, school choice funds, uh, which uh, I think is a little bit different than what you all were anticipating. I'm happy to explain this more if necessary. So Wheatley is currently rolling over into FY20, $237,885 from school choice. Uh, 45,000 of that roughly was from the 19 um, funds from the state, and then 192,000 was being rolled over from prior years. And then I'm currently working on the fiscal year 19 report to uh, submit that to Desi by October 1st. Any questions about that? So how did we end up the year compared to our whole budget? So we ended up reclassing about $82,000 from the things that were originally going to be on school choice back to the local budget, okay. um, which is why your, yeah, okay. that's why your school choice number is much higher than, than we thought it was going to be. Was gonna be. Yeah. Okay. So that means that the school did a good job not spending any of the budget. And the, <coughs> the cherry sheet numbers came out different in um, June, in June, rather, the up increased, so there was a oh, little good. bit more. Little it, was a little, it was a little bump. How much was that? Um, I think it went from about 230 to 257 so almost $30,000. Wow. For Whaley? Just for Whaley? Mm -hmm. yeah. Your final payment was um, once they adjust at the end of the year to make up for anything that wasn't there in October when they do the original distribution amount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they had, they owed us quite a bit, almost $30,000. Um, so going into 20, I did give you the expenditure report. There's not a whole lot of activity at this point. You will see that there are a couple of negative accounts. Those are simply because we need to make some adjustments in the budget and get things in the right line item. There isn't actually um, I mean, one overspent at this point in the year. Uh, and then the school, <laughs> um, the school choice numbers at this point for fiscal year 20 are $254,658. Uh, those will get adjusted in uh, October when they look at the enrollment numbers again. Uh, and then I'm currently going through the spreadsheet that TMS built for us for the budget for this year, just kind of making sure that all the formulas are in line and that nothing was missed and everything is accounted for. Um, so I'll continue working on that. So um, one request would be if we could get the school choice yeah. printouts, that would be definitely helpful. for next to see um, how that budget and any other accounts that are being used. We, we in the past have gotten all the accounts so we can kind of yeah, see. Yeah, the rollover from 19 to 20 is not complete yet for special funds. Just okay. the general fund budget is in, so I'll work on that for okay. next time. Thank you. You're welcome. One of the suggestions is maybe we should wait until November because next one will be a joint meeting mm -hmm. and be a lot of. You know, for Shelly to try to get, not saying she couldn't do it, but give her a chance. You know, next month is going to be a tough one for the flight school committees and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. maybe we wait till November unless she has time to do it or something like that. Okay. We were talking about it at Frontier about, you know, give her a chance to breathe. Or, yeah, exactly. So right. not saying you couldn't, right. but I'm just. <clears throat> it's a good point. We were talking about just basically, because you can't do the, the joint committee is going to be a lot of talking about. Um, you know, a lot of curriculum stuff and MCAS and professional development plans and 
um, my evaluation has to get done and kind of put aside. You know, so we're building that. We'll be talking a little bit later today about building that thing, but the idea okay. of kind of the deeper dive into the budgets. We'll have the October 1 reporting by then and, um, and so on and so forth. So just to kind of have all the information for the November, kind of the deeper dive about where everything's at. Just and also that, that other meeting comes up on the eighth. It comes quick. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. that was just, that was just the thought. I think yeah, just expanding off. Of, I just figured you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, how much stuff? If I'm tied up a frontier and you guys are over there, I mean, great that you could do the business part of things. And that's no, I, that, that makes sense to and me. Like like we maybe just use November, November meeting really to really right. look catch at up it. on where we yeah. are. And Look at the year ahead. Right. And yeah. one thing I mean, we're looking at is we got more money into school choice, but we're still overspending the work to what we're taking in. So we have a we, we have a bigger have we have a bigger bank of money there, but right. we're still spending more than we're taking in this next year. So right. Although um, we do think that school choice number is going to go up, up based on right. current enrollment. It was yeah. There's, it's up by four. It's not six. It was four. four. I did my math wrong in front of you today, but. I don't know how I messed it up by two. <laughs> so I about that. Uh, but I was talking to Chrissy. You so were super close. I was super, oh, super close. <laughs> four, six, four, six. Right, but we're up close enough. Teacher. Being up four. <laughs> That's a good being, job. That was like, she really helped me along there. But I'll get there, right? You can do yep. it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you just you. can't do it yet. Okay, thank you. Um, so, but yes, yeah, so that's up probably 20000 Yeah. You know. As you know, we're small schools, so it's finite. Right. It's finite, and it's right. interesting when those you get those shifts the from shifts make a big difference. You get those shifts from whatever to the gym, you know, and that's why we have to have that padding because it could go either way. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was um, the account we were worried about. You know, yeah. right? Created some concern last year, so it's nice to see. That well, it's always going to create concern, I think, <laughs> until we get to a more steady state. Mm -hmm. If we can, you know, if I think we did it this year, but even next year when we do the budget. If we could start taking some of the burden off school choice and mm -hmm. save it instead of using it always for, we'll say, salaries or something like that, right. start using it for more kid related things. You know, and I, I always bring this up since I've been here. You know, I love it the year we spent 50000 on a computer lab where we had this rollable thing. It was, you know, it was for the kids. It wasn't paying just for salaries and stuff like that. More. Well, well, we got the nice increase from the town, so we yeah, need to exactly. really take advantage of having that this yep. year. <coughs> put that to good use. And it sounds like some, some of it has been shifted a little bit. Yeah, and last year. I yeah, we did. To shift a I think we shifted a little bit good. last year. So that I mean, if we could do, that'd if we could do it this year, that. a little bit when budget time comes around, that'd be right. that'd be great. So I mean. even just moving one higher paid oh. teacher off of that will make a difference. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just keep on bringing some more school choice kids in. I think next year's the year is going to be a little more baby tricky point. in terms of uh, kindergarten because that's usually where we get a yeah. lot of our school choice. Last year we had six six graders leave and we had uh, six incoming kindergartners that are school choice. Wow. Um, but when we're looking at the census next year, there's a lot of kids in Wheatley that are that are kindergarten age. Okay. So we're going to be limited Which in terms of what we can take for school yeah. choice. That's good too. Though. Yeah, absolutely. More residents. Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're not funny all. Game. It's that funny game. <laughs> they're not all. <laughs> at least they're not all old people moving to town. You know. No, we need. Well, we, we love like the old people. people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an not old saying I'm old. I'm an old person. That's <laughs> a young retiree. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. <clears throat> so, any other questions or anything on the financials? Okay. Thank you, Shelly. Public comments. Anything to Mary? Here. I love that. Mary. Okay. Um, unfinished business. Continued discussion of establishing a long-term planning committee. So is this mine? To um, we said we would we put that back on there. That, right. um, I noticed that we're talking about this with the chairs, the long-term planning with the school. Well, yeah, but that's chairs, but that's looking. A it's a little different. That's talking about the you know, kind of things as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, it's not talking about Wheatley as an individual. <laughs> right. um, I think you know some of that conversation. You know, Chrissy and I have been talking about it on the side about what does that look like and how should that kind of funnel through. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess it's kind of identifying what is the goal. Right. Versus the outcomes of that committee you'd like to like to see, and then how does that how does that differ from school improvement plans? And school um, 
What's that? And school council. From school councils, school council Which doing does school. The school improvement There's a school right. improvement plan. Which and yeah. a direction. Do they see school council was going to be involved in that as well, the long term planning? Do they see that? That was mentioned in some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was one of our that's in the minutes. One of the things that comes up in <clears throat> school council is thoughts maybe, on. Maybe we should. I, I'm happy to have the school council take it on. I think it, it kind of needs a leader, and I, I don't have the time to do it, honestly. So. No. Um, if we can find someone on the school council that would be willing to maybe take that on. My main goal is to bring the different constituents in the community together to be thinking about how to support the school and build a stronger school going forward. Not, you know, what, what can we do to continue to improve Bayden? And to understand the financial implications of not doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I love that model that, um, Gotchall and um, Greg. Sunderland. Greg, Greg, yeah. Built. I was just. I would love to have something. I mean, I haven't seen it, but it, from what I hear about it, it sounds really helpful to just project out, you know, five, ten years. We we we've been using a negotiation side, yeah. long term, you know, retirements mm -hmm. and how much it's going to cost different towns and stuff like that. Right. It really. I think it would be really helpful to have something like that for each school to be able to really just play with the projections and what if this happens, what if this happens. And then we can build a plan around how to insulate the school from some of those risks and continue to you know, grow the school. Right. At, at, but I think it's important to include parents and the, the town committees. So that's the only thing with the school council, I don't know. Like that's a good starting point, but I think it would be a great idea to incorporate the finance committee and the select board a little bit and like have maybe a member from each participate because we want this to be a joint effort. We Could don't you just volunteer Jonathan? I'd be happy to volunteer <laughs> Jonathan Edwards. <laughs> um, but I think um, uh, oh my gosh. there's, uh, we already have a member of the select board. Joyce, Joyce is the sort of school liaison, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I know Paul and Taya is very interested in the school. So mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be a big effort, but I just think we want to be working together to make sure everybody's on the same page as much as possible. Yeah. So, I mean, if the school council wants to start with sort of the vision, where we want to be going, and then we can bring in some of the financial implications or get feedback from the town. That might be a way to do it. So are you nominating Maureen to be on that school, school <laughs> council from the school committee? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on the school council right now? Um, Justin no? Davis. Justin Davis, Chrissy Huntley, Megan Ashman, um, Mr. G, but he was unavailable to come yeah. last year. Um, so that was one area that I wanted to look into is finding mm -hmm. some additional community members. Mrs. G was on it too. Was there an, another parent? There was usually three parents. I'm trying to think. think Someone else who didn't come. One there was a mom. sixth grade. Yes. Mom was on. And they're gone, right? Yes. Yeah. So. <coughs> well, maybe we could focus on getting that group in place. And then I'm happy to go meet with them when they meet and talk about it and try and recruit some participants. That's helpful. Um, Want to come to open house tonight and recruit? Tonight. Tonight's open house, huh? Yeah. I have a chairs meeting. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we, we'll be done by then. We'll be done by then. I have basketball practice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> open house is a little crazy. I don't know. If yeah, that's not the best time to recruit people. Probably. It's like chaos. Like everybody's everywhere. Yeah, but that's a good time to like get people to sign things. <laughs> <laughs> they're not sure what they're signing. You can have nominate your spouse. Cut him a little oh, box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were five minutes late, so you're you're on this committee now. Yes, he's on the committee now. No, I I'm, I am interested for the public to know of getting more people involved. I mean, Maureen and Bob and I aren't going to be on the committee forever, so we need to you know, keep involving new parents as we can in the efforts here. Well, I have, my, my kids are part long, of my goal. My, my kids are long gone, but I'm still I I'm know, still you're here. Still but here. Let's, gotta keep, that's, I applaud that. Got to keep some <laughs> of the old blood here to, to talk about the olden days a little bit. But there again, 
but well, you have plan what well, we have plans for long term yeah and figure out what we can do in the school take things off of school choice make more, right like it's a long-term game at the end of the day so right. we need to i mean we have to balance budget every year but we also need to be thinking about where we're heading you know that's the better strategic way to operate if we can perfect okay so the to-dos in my mind then are to get the school council organized and bring this idea to them and see if they would mm -hmm. be willing to take it on as part of their thinking um and then I'm happy to reach out to Joyce and Paul and just see what their thoughts are. Yeah, Paul was on last year at the finance committee meeting talking about having me build a Cadillac here. So. That's right. That's what <laughs> you know, Paul exactly. is retired. to take advantage. We He's retired, to, so he has He has time. some time. Right. And he has, and he has two interests. vested interests. He yeah. has a lot of interests, so I think we should keep that energy going. Okay. Does that work? Everybody, yep. So if one of the things, if you could write down your thoughts on what you wanted that to be, or what, okay. like a mission. When there's charter. A, a charter. charter. Yeah. When there's a meeting, if you let me know, I'll, I'll come to the first one and just okay. listen or thoughts or whatever. So, I mean, maybe all of us can go and, so, you know, that we are in involved with it yeah part of it is just making sure we're capturing everybody's thinking right. so that we're not um, just kind of going in isolation we'll get that cadillac going the cadillac well or the range rover which is what yeah. my daughter wants oh, okay. aim high margaret <laughs> 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 uh okay um I'll hand it over to darius who's with the new business sure well um <clears throat> you have a oh, we have to nominate a delegate. Is anybody going, Is to, anybody going, going? to the conference? I didn't year? sign up. Did I see your name on yeah, there? Yeah, I'm going. So one's a, a, one's a voting on Friday. Is it on Friday? On the, I, Friday afternoon last year. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be there. Okay. I'm going down. With, I think Bob and I are going down. He wanted to be going on Decker? Tuesday night for a Wednesday yeah, morning. What is it? What's Wednesday morning? The uh, joint school committee co uh, meeting or just fill that out oh, okay uh, but um Maureen, you don't want to go away again i do she was just in hawaii <laughs> what i just came back sunday morning <laughs> it's the nice job getting ideas for school <laughs> getting ideas for school committee yes. don't worry we paid for it <laughs> it was unbelievable <laughs> i highly recommend it. i can't fly that far I could never. It, is a long time. it was long, but, but it's worth it. Back. We left Saturday at around noon and came back Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a long day. Three flights. Ooh. We'll be back. So you got to nominate me to. Okay, we're going to nominate you. Right. You're going to vote on it too. Motion to make a motion for Bob to nominate Bob to be the delegate. I second to the MASC. All in favor? Okay. And now I'm getting hands off. All right. Safe schools. <clears throat> so, as you know, we sent you guys all an email back in June when we received the award, but yeah, I just wanted to say awesome. it publicly here that Wheatley received $25,000 in this um, Safe Schools grant. Um, so, it's a non matching grant, so we don't have to do any, no money's coming out of our pockets. Um, outside, of maybe some small maintenance stuff here and there in order to make it all kind of run um, but we will be upgrading our our key system for entering the building to a key fob system um, that will match what um, frontiers did this year and deerfield did this year as well um, and as, as well as improving cameras and that and those kind of security things um, and other odds and ends out of that okay. thing. so when is it, that going to happen and that's what you take the words right out of my mouth that's going to happen pretty quickly because we have to spend the money by december 1st the grant or five cover century. all that yeah so yeah, the person who deals with the hardware in the door was already here yeah. to check things out. So, yeah, they're already moving forward to get the bids and that kind of thing. So, um, again, and thank you to Scott Paul, our IT director, who put the lion's share into the writing of the grant, mm -hmm. and then all the principals and law enforcement that worked. There was a lot of supporting documents that had to go with it. So, but, you know, overall, the, you know, the, the larger district received over $140,000 um, to do all the buildings. So, it's good to get us up to... 
So how's that going to work with families and kids and stuff? Do they get pods, or is just the staff that get the pods? Or? So basically, we're just changing keys to FOBs. And mm -hmm. so the FOB, what's, what's nice about it is it actually allows us to, um, being a community building, now you can have keys if you have a basketball league, your key will work when the basketball league's on the weekends and not work at 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. You can set the yeah. exact times, you can see who was, you can see who's here, we're tracking, going. We cameras do that already, but um, mm -hmm. we're gonna improve that as well. Um, it also means that during the school day, we know exactly who has access to the building. Right. And so if you had a disgruntled anyone, you could shut their key off and, then, and mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing. And as we know, through the years, keys get handed out. Oh, I'm running this. This group's mm -hmm. coming in. They get a key. They didn't get it back yet. Back, and, right. you know, they give it to someone who gives it to someone who's supposed to give it back. You know, now we can control those. So where's that going to happen? Is that going to be in the front office? Or What's the that? controlling of those all keys? Of the, all of the doors. It goes no, all who's in. gonna issue the keys and who's gonna keep who's gonna maintain who has access to everything? So it's kind of a trickle down. The central office um, um, has the kind of the master sets up each of the building, then each mm -hmm. office can create Great. fobs. Yeah. You just basically each fob has a code on it, you enter the code. Yeah. And then you can give the access. There's different access packages that we're creating administratively. So let's say you're rec. Rec access means it's going to be open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday, and then you know after six on during the weekdays or, or something of that right. sort. You know. Um, but the school will have ability to add that to people and take yep. it away. Yep. Yep. So it's you not. can add it, take it away, modify it to whatever, however you want to do it. Based so on that's great. Right. And then um, there's still a key system, but those keys will be. Um, hard to come by in the sense of you have a key override for police, oh, fire, right, right. principal. The master key. Yeah, mm -hmm. but even those are, you know, that's instead of having, I don't know how many masters are out there to get in every door, that all will come okay, to that. That should help. Yeah. So all doors? Yes. All, all doors. Classroom doors and everything? Uh, no, not no. the, not all the, the external, external doors. doors. External doors. The, the, the doors that currently have a, a keypad will have a fob oh, system. Okay. So like this door here inside, the yeah, fire door, that locks, right? Which one? The hallway? The one right here outside that would the not bathrooms? Be, that, that would not be, be on it, right? No. It's just outside the building. Okay. You know, inside, outside. we'll update those key when, <coughs> when necessary. Okay. But again, it's more, this is a law enforcement grant, so it's more about external, external okay. accesses rather than internal. So, okay. you know, then obviously we'll rekey the outdoor so that the hard key override doesn't work. Um, and those will be reissued to those who need them. So how will communications happen with the people that aren't part of the school? Like the groups? I mean, I know. Mary's pretty good. Rec will find out, I'm sure, but um, we aren't to, there other we groups? We changed the code recently and Mary took care of making sure that Mary's in charge of keeping in touch with everyone who Great. uses the building. Okay. Yeah. So, good. That's, that's the story that's awesome. there. Yeah. That's really great. Uh, settlement. So my recommend is to, in, well, my recommendation to is to that. move it at the end because it's okay. going to require an executive session, but discussion of the settlement agreement okay. for the uh, assist, instructional assistance. For the assistance too. Yep. Okay. They're just the assistants who we're discussing. We're okay. still in negotiation with the teachers. So, um, so one contract's ready to go. So um, we'll discuss that, but we should go to executive session to talk to about talk about it. The okay. ins and outs of that. But okay. I'll put it at the end if you end. if you desire. Um, okay, let's skip that and go to the end. So, policy on the dissemination of information. Dissemination of information. So, this is um, this policy is to basically move our schools to a more paperless environment when dealing with um, outside organizations handing out flyers for kids. Currently, the practice is if you're an outside group, you get approval from the superintendent. To distribute your flyer and then they drop off about 500 of them off at the elementary school and then the secretary and then teachers have to divide those up put them into backpacks they go home mm -hmm. and you know you got all these and different flyers going parents off. clean them out and so, <laughs> over the summer for scrap paper. <laughs> so what we want to do is basically say that <clears throat> we will add them as part of the principal's newsletter at the end um, and so there'll just be all the different kind of um, nonprofit opportunities in the community that kind of thing mm -hmm. the the policy is very forgiving in the sense of if the superintendent or the principal deem there's a flyer that really should go home on paper let's say there was a um, 
centennial parade or something like that. They want to do more than just, you know, they want to do more than just a, they want to make sure there's certain flyers going home. You know, this doesn't apply to any school stuff. This doesn't apply, apply to the PTO. This only applies to outside groups. Um, and again, that can be, you know, we can override if we feel that there's a reason that something has to be sent home in paper copy. So, so you're saying it will go home at, with the newsletter, the school mm -hmm. newsletter? It be included in the newsletter? Is yeah. that if we if we deem there was something from the outside that should be done mm -hmm. that way, but, but we're going to try to limit the amount of paper going home. So the, the digital. But these outside groups will provide their own paper. Right now, yeah, yeah. It's all, I've heard everything. They already do on yeah. that, but it's just the the amount of flyers going home across. Yeah. The, you know, from you know, it just seems to be more and more as it you know. Um, well, what about the website? <clears throat> I mean, I guess I'm just a little. Um, I don't want to, we don't want to cut off communication. Sure. We want to cut off paper. Yep. But we want the flow of information about what's happening to yep. be there, I think. But that mostly the way we're talking about is going through emails, right? The right, we're talking to be part so of it. Would go through email. Yeah. With the email, when the, the Just the, limiting the paper. When the principal's report goes oh, out, be to they them. will scan in the flyer for, you know, for Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts. Yeah. Um, camps that offer in the summer instead of all these flyers going home yeah. it's going to be all in one place the other side of it is depending on how good the delivery of the model is some flyers may or may not be getting home right and so at least this is all going to go in one place they have to get it before the principal sends out the or Barry sends out I, you two could find out who actually sends it out yeah. uh, but we scans have, it we in don't have to fight about okay. that, Mary. Mary, Mary <laughs> we all know Mary out. does it <laughs> Um, you know, we're just going to add it to the end, so there'll be these are all the different things that are going on with kids um, for okay. kids in the community. Um, yeah, that's the. It's great. It's great. Save some trees. Let's save some trees. I like and, saving the trees. Yeah, you know, and then. But I, I'm worried that people aren't going to get the information. Right well, there. if they get an email, it pops up on their computer, their iPhones, whatever. The, I know, but it's going to be at the bottom of this long, already <coughs> long document that. Some people read, some people don't. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I, I'm not going to vote no, but right. I just think, I think it would be nice if there was a way on the website to connect to other um, groups that want to communicate to the school community, like more of a place people can go reference. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of those in the district right now. It's more you have to catch the email, and if you miss the email, then you have to go find the email versus having it on the website. Like, I think I think we put the, the, the um, newsletter on the website, mm -hmm. right? So then all so that will then be all that will be up there, but I mean, it might could, not be easy to find. We could do more links to that, but my my concern is that then it looks like it's something that we, we, right, we don't so want what? To how much do you things? sponsor? You know, I mean, you let's say you sponsor a camp and something very bad happens at the camp. What was the school's oversight right. of that camp? Right. You were advertising that camp, and so it's kind of that balance between being a conduit to give opportunities for kids versus, versus. and then some of them, you know, endorsing things. Yeah. And so, and like I said, it's different if the, you know, the rec department wants to do something and they're asking, you know, you know, we'll be able to yeah. see, we'll be able to see, let's say basketball rec comes up and they're like, we haven't got any feedback on that. Can we send it home this way? And that would just be, you know, right. we'll be able, just, school by like school, we'll be able to control We're such that. a small community and there's only a few opportunities for people to get involved mm -hmm. and it's hard to get the word out in general. Mm -hmm. The other thing would be to encourage them to contact the scoop, where, which Joyce sends out. Because that's that, a, they have a to great get that in way ahead of time. Yeah, because that's only a few times a year. That's a, but it just might be something you can mention to people yeah. that want to get in touch with the Waitley community mm -hmm. specifically. Yeah. Speaking of sending flyers out, it's time for the pie and cookie dough fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first allowed. one is the, the first one. If you if you read, read so it, it's, a, it's a month or the fifth grade is the, the first yeah, fundraiser. The yeah. And then that one must be. This is for the PTO. Oh. It's uh, one of our best fundraisers. And it's a uh, pie and cookie dough in time for the holidays. <laughs> you can eat the cookie dough right out of container. And that one right? is exempt from this policy because exactly. the PTO is exempt from yes. And it is considered a school organization. So, you're, again, we're really talking about third party. I know. I just want to. Yeah. You want to play? Oh, I hear you. Well, those <laughs> delicious pie doughs are. Yeah. Yeah. Come find your elementary school student. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just call the office. <laughs> call me. <laughs> right, right. You get credit for the site. Yeah, I was thinking that we might <laughs> want to go green in our meetings too at some point. Maybe we could use the Chromebooks instead of. The so other committees have gone digital. 
Yes. So is, you just I have to. You have to just consider if, that. If you guys want it all digital, I mean, I have some committees that are running it off the iPads. Yeah. Some people, and then members who want to print it out, if I make arrangements through my office to get it printed out. Okay. Bob. Um, and, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, we do print a lot of Bob, like We do. Yeah. Well, and I still, I mean, there's some stuff I have to bring printed, but right. the general packet yeah. is. Oh, is, they is want to give, me a, give us a Chromebook. Well, I mean, we, we could can use have a the, Chrome, the school Chromebooks while yeah. we're here. Yeah. yeah. We just yeah. Got some there's no reason we couldn't do that, right? Yep. So, I could bring my Mac. It. I mean, I guess I could bring my Mac. I just, I get frustrated sometimes with right. computers. We don't want you to frustrate it's, if, it's, if, it's, if, it's just, if it's Facebook, it's great, but everything else, I have a tough time with well, it. Well, so. maybe I'll give you the posting through Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but do we have a place that all of our school committee documents are stored? Like um, a Google Drive or anything? Is that funny? It's on the agenda. Is it? Awesome. I'm sorry. Is this policy, these two policies are brand new? Or are so this is a reading. Policy? We're not voting on this today. We, oh, so okay. we do a reading. We do a reading. We'll vote it next month. And what's nice is we'll probably vote it at the joint meeting. We could get because all five will be done at once. But that'll be a question I bring to the chairs this afternoon if they want to do it that way. Okay. So, so they're new though. They're these new. are new. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we do have a dis dissemination of information. There's one in there that's a little, it's a little bit different, but um, this is a new one. I think it's KHCA or something like that. It just has to do with. Advertising in schools or something like that. Is that and the dissection alternatives is not really relevant to. Again, as you know, we try to be consistent all the way through. <laughs> uh -huh. um, what's interesting is that I was talking with our superintendents and they don't do this and they wish they did because sometimes you get a sixth grade class suddenly dissects, decides to dissect something because uh -huh, yeah. the teacher wanted to go out of the, and all of a sudden they don't have a policy on it because they didn't think they did. That's what I was going to um, ask. Do we do that in this elementary school that you know? Is there any dissections? No, the first graders found some dead bugs outside, but <laughs> closest that we get to that. Um, there has been, well, I've they been can. I have been in. I was in a sixth grade room in Deerfield and they were dissecting uh, cow heart or something. It's something. It was an extension of a unit. It wasn't part of the curriculum, direct part of the curriculum. And it, so, but, so it could happen. Mm -hmm. You can stand outside. Did you say cow? Cow heart? Oh. They were looking at it. <laughs> something to do with something real. <laughs> no, just the no, cow just heart. Just the heart. You know. Anyway, um, so we try to stay consistent, okay. but this is a practice already in place at Frontier, but we didn't have a policy to back it up. And there's something I ran. Some of the ten different things we hear with people that people had problems with, and I said, mm. you know what? Let's just kind of beef up those uh, yeah. those policies there. Okay. So those are readings. We'll vote them at the next meeting. Um, we voted. Okay. So you want to go through the reports? I would recommend going through reports okay. and the executive yep. session. Yep. So um, I'd be curious. Projects over the summer. Yep. yep. That's part of my Year? report. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like Bob pre-wrote his uh, principal's report, so it's no surprise to him. Uh, as he mentioned, the, um, the fifth graders started their fundraising this year, and it was kind of amazing. I, I learned to look forward to that day that the moms get delivered and the whole front lawn mm. gets covered with them. Um, we had summer STEM camp here this summer, and it was for students from all the all the four schools and it was pretty great you know it was, it was nice to have a chance to walk around and see all the things that they were doing um, and one of the things that they were doing uh, learning to code using dash robots i don't know if you're familiar with those but we just bought a classroom set so that the classes can begin to work on coding as well um, the the teachers did such a great job uh, we started our year again with an ice cream social um, it was very well attended, and it was fortunately not 102 degrees like it was <laughs> like last, last year. Um, <laughs> ice cream wasn't melting. It was like, yeah. it was like puddles. So we were actually able to s scoop ice cream nice. instead of just having it in those cups. No to it. Yeah. Um, and then the the next day we started school with a dance party. I know some of you were here last year, but this year it seemed to really take off. Kicked up a notch. There was so in the morning. Yeah, the breeding. The yeah, it was nice. nice. Um, in fact, some, some of the adults and kids asked why we don't do that every morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the mornings I'm out there, I bring my speaker with me and we have a little music. Good morning, Waitley students and staff. Today is Tuesday, September 24th. Lunch today is chicken tacos and corn and fruit. Celebrating a birthday today is our pledge leader, 
Jack, uh, Bennett, Beckett Jackson. <laughs> Happy birthday, my friend. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge to the United States of America and to the Republic for the which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Some announcements today. Open houses tonight from 6 to 7, and we look forward to seeing you and your family here at our school. Um, and tomorrow, we're going to have a different way of doing morning announcements. They'll be led by students. Um, our kind of action today is to think about um, inclusion. As the sixth graders showed us in the skit at our school meeting, it's important to include people and it makes us all work and play better together. Thanks. So she's going to hit on something I'm about to talk about. Um, well, well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, in terms of the beginning of the year, I was very pleased with not only the way those first couple days went, but the way it was sort of fell right back into routine and it's, it was a very smooth opening. In fact, I had said to Darius at one point, I, like I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting. Things have, things have gone, <laughs> things have gone well. Um, we have some new staff members. Uh, Amy Tibbetts is a new first grade teacher. Uh, Sarah Chapdelaine uh, last year was uh, an IA sub, but now she is permanently ours as the first grade instructional assistant. Um, Grace Bergen is our pre-K instructional assistant. Christine Savard is our new general music teacher. Um, she, uh, when she is not here being our general music teacher, she is the um, assistant director of the Mass Marching Band. So it's kind of cool. And um, Mary Jo Cheryl is home with her baby this year, so mm -hmm. Katie Miranda is covering the strings program. Uh, and I saw on this there's um, an early childhood extended oh, day. Yeah, yeah. Mariah Freemol is our early childhood extended day. So there's two new in preschool. She just she comes at the very end of the day and does the the part from two thirty to five thirty. Um, under the category of general awesomeness, I had the fifth grade fundraiser. Um, yesterday we had. <laughs> We had our first all school meeting and um, we're doing it a little differently this year. I've sort of assigned each meeting to different grades to, to host. Um, we're also doing a book of the month where every classroom in the school will read the book of the month with the kids. Um, and it will be based on one of our core values and this, this month's core value is inclusion. Um, and the, the kids unprompted by their teacher decided they wanted to write a little skit that sort of went along with the book and it was it was great they did a fantastic job um and we're going to start something new a little later in the year i don't know if any of you have heard of genius hour which is a, a thing that was invented by the fine folks at google i saw you got some certificate is that from there did you do some training it said genius. yes yes um Oh, you're, you're a genius? No. She is now. There's a certificate. Oh, there's a certificate. <laughs> That's true. That's true. i got to frame that and hang it on my wall. Um, at Google, they, they allow their employees 20% of their time at work to pursue their own projects. Um, and from that comes a lot of the innovations that then get passed on to us. So um, in the same vein, we want to offer an opportunity for our kids to have some more self-directed learning. Um, to, to give everyone a chance to, to follow whatever it is that they're interested in. So the whole school will be doing it at the same time, um, which means that when we distribute all the staff members throughout the school, um, there'll be groups of six students with one advisor from the staff. Um, and if you're interested in it, you can just Google Genius Hour in Schools and there's lots of videos about the kinds of projects the kids do. And then at the end of the year, we would have a sort of project there. So we're looking forward to that. And the teachers are, have worked really hard to try and figure out what this is going to look like for us. So the summer work, um, as you notice at the top of the list are my gym floors. If you have not visited my gym floors, please <laughs> do so before you leave. Um, they've, they've been walked upon a little bit. I was trying to figure out a way to not, <laughs> not have <laughs> 
kids walk on them in their shoes, but um, the gym teacher did not think that it was a good idea to just have gym in socks. Um, but the, they did a beautiful job on the floors. Um, and then we had two classroom floors uh, replaced with tile, so the carpets came up. Oh. And Which one? Uh, we did um, first grade and third grade. And How many we have left? Uh, the upper wing? The, the whole upper wing, but we also um, were awaiting the floors to be installed in the nursery because that was another part of the project that we had planned for this this year. For where? <coughs> the nurse's office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think what you're saying about is we're gonna try to go two a year. Yeah. Going forward. Just, yeah. I didn't know what we I didn't yeah. know what we had left or whatever. So yeah. a few more a few more years That's of, great. This, of this. Hey, get rid of those carpets. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to hang on to the ones in the hallway though because it's the noise. so nice. Yeah. Um, two classrooms got painted. And that, again, one of those was the first grade classroom, so our new first grade new teacher, teacher has come to expect that um, we get the best Spanky, of everything. She got new floors. Yeah. Um, the office was painted. The ceiling in the foyer was painted, and it doesn't seem like that it's such a big deal, but it, it really is. It was, a, it was a lot of work to get up there, that we had to get staging in here, and I think it made a huge difference. It looks like the looks like we've done something in well, there's no, still some no. spots over there. But no, I we used to have some more right here, but like that stain there was trying to cover it up. I mean it looks better than but some of these stains in this room has been here since like the ones at Frontier. They've been there a long time. A lot of these have been here for a long yeah, time. Yeah, we're so. trying to figure out how to address this and the ones in the gym. I mean you've got to use a stain killer on, on But know, just in terms of getting there. We, don't we don't we rent a lift once in a while? I mean, some of those little scissor lifts would work, or a big step ladder. I mean, they do. I know, I've done it before, so kids it's kids could probably leave us your consulting card. Right no. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it, it does make it even if the color's off a little bit, it's better than that brown. Like if you look over like those brown stains. Yeah, I don't love that. Like I said, this one here was covered yeah, up pretty something. good. Better than what it was up yeah, there. Yeah, and we did a lot of that throughout the building. With the work that they did on the sprinklers, um, a lot of rooms sustained water stains just around where the sprinkler heads are. Yeah. So um, Dan did a great job of going around, and uh, Kaylin, our summer guy, um, took care of most of that. I didn't look, but how's our light post out there? Did anything get done with no. those? Okay. No. I'll talk to you about that later. Um, <laughs> The office window frames and door frames were painted as well as outside the library. Um, vent covers in the bathrooms were painted. The vestibule in the upper and lower wing were painted. All the floors were stripped in wax. All the carpets were sh shampooed. Um, we replaced the lights in the foyer. There had been always sort of like a yellow mm -hmm. tint to everything, so we replaced the bulbs. It made a big difference. The HVAC vents and filters were cleaned out, the sprinkler work was finished, and the generator work was finished. Yay! Yay. So, so we're sprinkler. done with the sprinklers? Yeah, that's all for now. Right? Excellent. No flooding in the office this summer? No, no. Excellent. There was no. It's kind of boring, right? Yeah, yeah. That was like one of my first days. I right. came in and it was raining <laughs> in my room. <laughs> I saw some new trees outside, I guess. Did you guys, did you see those? Like in big pots? The flowers? No, there's some like big trees out next to the, remember where all the trees burned down years ago? Um, those aren't new. Those aren't new? No, those have been new. They, 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 they just grew. From they look year. big. Okay. Well, like the arbor I think they are. The ones no, that have those are like regular, like oak tree or uh, Yeah, they've got those maple. black things around. Yeah, it looks those like have a been pot. there for a while. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. As morning pointed out, they look nice because they were small. <laughs> okay. Um, so the generator, what had to be done with the generator? Do you know? Or it's, it's all wired now. I yeah. Mean, it was, I think that I was, think was the last thing, it's electrician. And by the end of last year, but okay. I think it just has probably maintenance now and it's monthly or weekly. It runs weekly every Wednesday morning. It's loud. Is it Wednesday? I got out of my car one day and I was like, what is happening? Where are we going? But now we have a place where, uh, I'll emphasize we've been waiting for a long time for a generator, so if we ever had 
like that October yeah, storm there where October people had to go to Deerfield. Now they can come to our school yeah, and yeah, we can take care of them. If you're lucky enough to have a key, Bob, you can get in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk we'll to you about that later. Get some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another rock out front? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there should be a snow, so uh, yeah. Uh, which rock? Which, which rock, right? Because they, they, they have like a thousand rocks out there. Uh, okay. I don't have any updates other than welcoming everybody back. Um, collaborative tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Principal, superintendent. Um, a lot of my stuff we took, we kind of already touched upon and we had a great wonderful opening and pre-opening day with the teachers um, negotiations continues with the teachers we did our first mediation on September 5th and we have another next one is on October 10th we'll discuss the details in, in uh, executive session um, the superintendent evaluation they filled out in June um, likely will be discussed at the joint meeting that the chairs will be discussing how they want to bring that forward today actually um, Committee email addresses. Um, it was brought to my attention again that those who attend the M MASC training that really all um, school committee members should have a school address for school committee business. Um, I've talked with IT and I've already um, created accounts um, for everyone. And basically what, what's nice now is we have the ability for those accounts to be created remotely, which would, was something we couldn't do years past. It was a lot, was a lot more of a headache for school committee members. So I think now the fact that we can send it out to you, have you created basically a Gmail suite through, that's what we're talking about, can mm -hmm. we create a place mm -hmm. um, for school committee documents? Um, we can, and we can create a, we, it's not already created, but mm -hmm. once we have a Gmail suite with everybody, we can include everybody in um, for those documents. Um, so those will be sent to you this morning um, to set up, and also you, instructions on how to forward the big thing about school committee is that, especially for the, the camera, there's not a whole lot of dialogue that's happening via email. So it's usually just, here's the agenda, here's you know setting dates and that kind of stuff. So um, it can be sent to this account, this account can forward and send an announcement to your to your main email account, and I'm sending directions on how to do that. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you look at your Yahoo account, it'll say, oh, you got an update on your other account. So you don't have to, mm -hmm. Because the, the infrequency of the amount of emails that you know, get sent out, you know, from, for school committee business, you know, my concern is that you, you know, you check it once a week, and you, I send it out an hour after you check it, and you know, it's time sensitive. So you can have it forwarded to whatever your main email address is. Just the, the idea is make sure you sign into that account when you do any business um, responding and that kind of stuff. So, um, so you'll get those a little well, bit later today. Solve some other issue. Okay. Had written down if we want to use Chromebooks at the meeting, you're going to need to log in, and you can't have that with Oh, okay. And if we want to see email, so that works out. Yeah, so now you'll have that as well. So, um, yeah, so that's that's what's happening there. Um, if you choose not to use it, that's really just basically your own your own choice. I'll create the account, then you have to talk with Donna if you don't want to use it. Um, but I, I do feel we should provide it. Um, and. The last one was just a frontier capital bond um, did finally go through at the end of June um, mm -hmm. was approved by Deerfield was connected to a debt of exclusion um, vote so right now we're it's a long process of bond councils and that kind of stuff to now approve it also you have an issue that you just got approval to so we just have approval to, mm -hmm. to we have approval to um, take on debt, take on the debt. And, um, and so now the um, Capital Improvement Subcommittee made up of school committee members and select board members will get together, probably not until November. I'm waiting for everything to get approved through the, um, the bond council. Um, and then we'll need to kind of create the timeline of how we're going to approach that thing. So okay. I only mention because it's, it's big enough where people are kind of paying attention, even though it's not really yeah. weekly business. We've been, we've been waiting a long time. For, I'm on that committee and mm -hmm. we've been. Just been working on this a long time. Long time. That's great. I mean, it's, much needed some much needed things need to be done and mm -hmm. whether it's small or big we've been trying to take care of some of the small things like with ed and stuff like that but but the big stuff yeah, the track. like the track and yeah there's some other thing we have an envelope project above the above the library. library we have money to use in the library but we don't want to use the money in the library until the until the roof and all that stuff gets done mm -hmm. then we go forth and use the, the money that was given to us 
by Mr. Mark. Mr. Marks, and um, so we're okay. just we're just waiting, you know. How much was the bond? Here? Under that? Yeah. How much was the bond for? Yeah. The, um, mm -hmm. Oh, to take up the loan, one point yeah. eight. One point eight million. Yeah. <clears throat> and change. Rounding error. Um, okay, so your summer retreat, are, are you going to talk about that at the October meeting? Yeah, we're going to talk about, so um, the, we'll talk about the professional development plan that was developed at the October retreat. I mean, our October retreat was, was um, it was actually wonderful in some levels, right? No. It was October retreat? Not October. So, uh, summer, uh, summer no, retreat. Summer retreat, I said October retreat. <laughs> you think yeah, October Last year? I don't know, I'm going to plan one. Um, <laughs> we, you know, we did. Are we having another one? <laughs> what was amazing, so we got together and we um, developed uh, basically the direction for the strategic plan and where we want to go with, um, and this will all be explained at the um, October meeting with everybody, with mm -hmm. Sarah and Kim will take the lead on that. But we kind of, we developed the, the, whole, the whole plan on that moving forward, reflecting, looking at the surveys that went out, each principal sat down and went through their own results. Um, the community surveys to get the community input on things. Um, we did a we did a, a full session of everybody putting all their ideas and worries up on the board and kind of building a plan from there. And then after that, the other professional development plan did fall through. I think I mentioned that at the last meeting um, in June that the plan that we were going to have a speaker come in and meet with us. Um, she was unable to make it, so the principals got together, um, do some collaboration on trying to create consistency across all four schools from handbooks to, pol not policies, but, but procedures around things. Um, principals enjoyed it so much they volunteered to come back the following week <laughs> to do more days of it because they were making such progress in different areas. So um, just shows you how how well that administrative team is you know, working together that they, you know, I want to say, but they you know, people have to change schedules and stuff to come back the following week and be working together again mm -hmm. to find that. So that was that was good, right? Chrissy, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's a, it's a great, great idea. With, you know, all basically all five principles are fairly new. Ben probably Ben's the old Ben's the Ben's the Ben's Ben's the seniority, but I call him a young kid still. But he's. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great that you guys can come up with some new ideas and. Well, and for. Most of us, it's just the principal on his or her, her own, and so having someone to bounce Colleagues, ideas yeah. off of is, is helpful. Yeah. Once you're all coming from other districts, which brings some good ideas and yeah. information to share with them. Yeah. You know, I drove, I drove by Deerfield Elementary yesterday, just off the, a different topic, but I couldn't believe how many cars that are in the parking lot there. I know a couple probably people were visiting, but how many people actually work at Deerfield Elementary School it was there must have been 75 cars there and I mean it's a big that's school a big parking that's lot. a big school I mean that's just that parking lot now who parks out back or something but it's you know same thing here if you go out back now there's probably 25 cars here mm -hmm. it's amazing how many people work in these different schools and stuff I mean I just we're very lucky to have the staff that we yeah. have the, the numbers and it allows everyone to get the attention they need and it is part of it's what Chrissy just kind of said a minute ago regarding that she doesn't have a next another person yeah, in the building. Yeah, right you hand. get her well, on a problem off of. You got married. Did you have married? Um, but so it's important that the you know that you know as our yeah, I have principal meetings every month. I have administrative meetings every month, and different goals happen in each one of those meetings. But the principals meeting is a lot about you know sharing. Um, and collaborating on different ideas because you don't have and then be able to you develop those relationships so you can pick up the phone. Because not every, I mean, they can always call me, but sometimes they just want to call, hey, I got this <coughs> this issue. How do you handle something like this? Yeah, most often yeah. they call each other. They call each other. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, just trying to connect. All right, thank you. The but, um, community so, survey, that, was there any results that we could see that what the feedback was? Yeah. Is that something that could be shared? Mm -hmm. Anything interesting, any highlights? There's lots of interesting. The thing about the, the, thing about the community survey is that it's, um, you get a mix. You know, we get some different, some things that we said, oh yeah, that's nice. And then you get some, as I would say, mass live rants, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Where um, it, it goes on and on and that kind of thing. And so th those aren't productive, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, and I was just looking at the minutes, the position of a food service director to be made as a salaried position. 
How's that going? So she has been made as a salary position. Okay. So, um, and I've done all that. So, which was the, the thing to do. We brought her up to, she's done, Mary's done an excellent job. She's, you know, four of the five schools are in the black. Um, and we went from deficit, huge deficits in each of our schools to, and I think overall the product has improved. Mm -hmm. Well, I think food service and schools can, you're yeah, constantly working on trying to improve very that and dealing with the raw nature of what they're having to deal with. Um, but she's done a wonderful job. She's a wonderful, um, also a great colleague to be working with. You know, we can have show. He's, he has to work with her quite a bit now, um, getting the, you know, those numbers together. But we brought her into scale of what other people are being paid around us. And, um, That's great. I hope we can keep her. Yeah, that, was the, yeah. that was the idea. And it wasn't for the kid. It wasn't huge jumps in, in pay, but it was enough to say, listen, Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be doing timesheets of when you came in, when you came out. She comes early, she stays late. You know what I mean? She's acting, she's overseeing other people. So mm -hmm. it's, it is a, yeah, it should, should be, be a salary. salary. So she's, yeah. Yeah, okay. um, she's probably earned back the money that she's getting. In, in some cases, in some cases, ways, yeah. So yeah. In, in, yeah, I'm going to say in some cases, even more so. Right. You know, so. And then I saw our numbers are down a little this year. Yeah. School mm -hmm. choice is. Is that all? Oh, it is it's holding, no, it's school choice oh. is school holding choice is, steady. Is up. Okay. Up a few, but nothing. Yeah. It's got to have more people moving. It's got to have more kids. Yes, have more babies, please. <laughs> yeah, we were neck and neck with Conway last year. Like we go back and forth of who's the smallest school, and I think we're now the, we've we're the winner. taken the crown. Yeah. yeah. And pre-K still looks relatively healthy. There's a lot of yeah. kids in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully they're healthy. There's <laughs> yeah. it's always sick children. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's a big number for pre-K. Yeah, that's great. And you said we got six school choice in kindergarten. Were they yep. from the preschool? Yeah. That okay. Let's go in the executive session. Okay. Make a motion. So you're going to be going, make sure we do a motion, you're doing exception for two things. We're going to be approving um, other executive session minutes. And I think approving the release of executive session minutes as well. And then you are going to be going in to go um, to both discuss the, um, the teachers. Teachers and, and IAs. IAs. Yeah. Where do we and vote you may be returning out? for a vote because if you um, we'll be talking about the settle agreement for the uh, instructional right. assistance. Uh -huh. And so if you agree, you'll be coming out to vote the settlement agreement. Okay. Do we have to vote on the minutes out of the executive session or in session? In session. For the exit, for the minutes? So you'll come back. And vote on minutes you'll vote here them and in the you'll vote to You'll vote to release them in executive session and then they'll be released. So we'll, we'll say goodbye to the video at this point. We don't need to have it back or do we? Order your you'll just be doing. You'll be doing a single vote. It'll be, up, vote. it'll be up to Chris if he wants to stick around yeah. to do the yeah or yeah vote. Yeah, so um, okay. I'll let him know if he wants so, to know. Thank what you. Happened. So, um, but you need a roll call in on both of those. We can say them together and just roll call in. So I'm <laughs> making a motion to go into executive session to um, for the purpose of releasing the executive session minutes from November 6, 2017, and May 7, 2018, and to approve. Or no. Yep. That's mm -hmm. it. Yep. And, and then, then and to approve, approve June. You're okay. going to approve some, you're going to release some. That were approved on June 4th. Yep. Okay. Um, then we're also going to discuss the strategy for collective bargaining with the teachers, and we are going to discuss settlement agreement with the I instructional assistants. Yes. Uh, so we'll do a roll call. Bob? Yes. Maureen? Yes. Katie? Yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you.